Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The chip war unilaterally launched by the United States has involved more and more countries and regions. According to the rules of the United States, as long as American technology is used, a license from the United States must be obtained before the corresponding equipment products are shipped. In order to avoid dependence on American technology, many countries and regions have begun to accelerate the layout of chip localization. For example, the European Union has reached a chip agreement of 340 billion yuan, which will increase the proportion of global chip production capacity from the current 10% to 20% by 2030. American companies can't help feeling the pressure is on China. Chips are the core component of modern information technology and are of great significance to the country's economic development and national security. Both China and the United States want to gain a technological advantage in the chip field to maintain competitiveness and national security. It's just that the United States has not launched a fair competition. Instead, it has adopted many restrictive measures in the form of export controls to prevent China from obtaining advanced chip technology support. The backlash brought about by the rules is very obvious. Not only will US companies lose a lot of sales, but other relevant countries will also step up the construction of independent industrial chains to reduce US technology dependence, such as the European Union. The European Union has been discussing the establishment of a chip localization bill agreement many years ago, and will spend 43 billion euros, about 340 billion yuan, to enhance the advantages of European chip manufacturing. At present, this bill has been officially passed, and it is planned to increase the proportion of global chip production capacity from the current 10% to 20% by 2030. In addition, the EU must also establish a network of competence centers to solve the problem of skills shortages, attract talents, research and other key projects. It is of great significance for the EU to do this. On the one hand, it is to improve supply security. As the global demand for chips continues to increase, the EU hopes to increase its share of chip production and reduce its dependence on imported chips, thereby improving supply security. This can avoid chip shortages caused by supply chain disruptions or external factors. On the other hand, it is to promote technology and innovation. By investing in budgets and building production capacity, the EU will support chip-related research and innovation to enhance the EU's competitiveness in chip technology. This will help European companies maintain a leading position in technology and promote the progress of the chip industry. Before the European Union reached an agreement on the chip bill, China officially announced the export control of gallium and germanium raw materials, and the rules began to be implemented on August 1st. There is also a crisis response mechanism established in the EU CHIP Act, which is to assess the risks faced by the EU semiconductor supply, help to respond to possible emergencies in a timely manner, and ensure the stability of the EU's chip supply. Solving the raw material supply problem of gallium and germanium is mostly the job of the crisis response mechanism. The European Union has already started to take action, calling on aluminum and zinc producers to find solutions for the production of key semiconductor raw materials. Greek aluminum producer Mitalinios Energy and Metals has approached the European Union. 
It can be seen that the European Union is working to solve the supply problem of gallium and germanium, but gallium and germanium are byproducts of aluminum and zinc, and it is not so easy to process and refine them. Regardless of whether it will be successful or not, the attitude of the EU may put a lot of pressure on US companies. Microchip giants such as Intel, Nvidia, Qualcomm, and Micron Technology also have a large market share in Europe. When the Chinese market is bound by chip rules, Europe is a crucial place for American companies to sell chips. As a result, the European Union plans to manufacture its own chips. Once the 20% global chip production capacity target is achieved, American chips may not be sold in Europe. The European Union, like China, is taking the route of chip self-sufficiency. Perhaps the high-end chip market is still inseparable from the cooperation of American companies, but mature chips with greater demand are enough to get rid of the dependence of the United States. American companies can't help feeling the pressure is on China. In the future, the demand for American chips in the EU and Chinese markets may decrease. US companies have always occupied a certain share in these markets in the past, but as the EU and China increase investment in local chip production capacity, the market share of local chips may increase which will affect the sales of U.S. chips in these markets. Moreover, chips independently developed and produced by the EU and China may compete directly with American chips. This means that American companies need to work harder to maintain technological innovation and quality advantages, as well as provide more competitive products and solutions in order to maintain an advantage in market competition. However, with the Biden team restricting chip shipments, the revenue and profits of US companies have declined, and there is a lack of sufficient research and development funds. If things go on like this, their competitive advantage will be broken. The United States is the root cause of all these problems. If the United States did not destroy the order of chip globalization, countries and regions would not be separated from the development of American technology, but would achieve industrial progress through free trade, and many parties could become winners. If the United States does not look back, the pressure on American companies will increase. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it. Welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.